are three recreational marijuana businesses being considered for Somerville. One in Davis, one by City Hall, and one right here in Union Square. I went to all three locations to talk to people to see what they had to say. So we are here at 378, 380 Highland Avenue, and this is going to be New England Selects Harvest. What do you think about having a recreational pot shop here in Somerville? Oh, uh, I think it's a good idea. Um, I don't partake myself, but um, it's legal. If people want to do that, that's a good thing. Do you think people will be responsible with their pot? I think they will. I think we've seen in other parts of the city that uh, that seems to be the case. So uh, I think Somerville is a great place for that. It's nice to have the uh, lack of bureaucracy and people getting access to stuff. It's basically keep a lot of my friends together and keep them from being anxious wrecks all the time. So uh, more access is great. So it's nice to see it just be easy and easily available. It doesn't seem like legalization already uh, as gradual as it is hasn't been uh, very difficult uh, as far as public safety concerns as far as I can see. So we're here at the second location of the near future recreational paw shop of Somerville. It's right here on Highland Avenue and Central Street. What do you think about Somerville having recreational pot shops? I think it's a great idea and uh, I'm all for it. So I look forward to seeing uh, a few open up and uh, I probably might at, at my age, <laughs> even though in my 70s, I still might uh, take a shot at and buy some. In terms of as long as it's bringing money into the community, um, I think that that's a positive thing. So this is the third and last recreational pot shop location in Somerville. We're at 71 Union Square. How do you feel about having a recreational pot shop in Somerville? I think uh, pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm in support of it for sure. Um, I just recently moved close to Somerville and I do like recreational marijuana. So having a shop here would be good. And I think it's been you know, it's three years since we passed this law and uh, the rollout's been very measured and careful, but there's still no, no recreational shops in this area. The closest one is in Brookline. So if they can have one in Brookline, I think they could probably have one in Somerville as well. You said you work in recre you work with pot? Is oh, that what no, you? No, no, I, I just like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think that people are gonna be responsible with their marijuana? No, I don't. I think, I think everyone is driving high these days and I think that there's no way to detect it and they're looking for technologies that will maybe detect it. I think the most recent one I saw was uh, a face mask that's, that detects whether or not your peripheral vision has deteriorated due to marijuana use by uh, having like flashes on the side. But that's still even very experimental and sort of the, the legal issues that I've heard from police officers is they just have no way to, to know or, or, or any way to detect if you're actually driving under the influence. So they never even try to prosecute those cases. Not happy about it, sorry. Could I just explain? I just feel like it's too close to schools and too close to younger children and I just feel like there's gonna be too much influence. I'm sorry. That's my opinion and people won't agree with me but that's my honest opinion, and I have four children, and three of them adult age, and one's in senior in high school, and I have a grandchild here, and I just... I think they're good. every community should have one. I mean, unfortunately, you know, the federal government still criminalizes it, so if it was decriminalized, I think we would find so many more other uh, health benefits for it. But, um, you know, I mean, this is a busy busy uh, square and it's probably a good place it could be good for the community I think as much as it's a stiff you know what I mean like people think oh but, you know but I think it's fine this is a great little location I would probably do the same if I was in the business you know? the Somerville Licensing Commission plans to have its next public hearing on November 18th then the decisions go to the planning board and then to the state for Somerville neighborhood news I'm Stephanie Wittenbach